Audi's third generation TT is super slick and comes with a high-tech virtual cockpit. There's a full LCD panel display and infotainment system with voice commands, 3D graphics, and a Google Earth navigation system that puts the driver in control. We got an inside peek at this sporty vehicle during an Audi press event in San Francisco. You want to walk me through the virtual cockpit? Sure. This is the Audi TT, the first car in the Audi line to get the virtual cockpit. It's a 12.3 inch screen, 1440 by 540 resolution, it runs fully at 60 frames per second. And as you can see here in the sun with the top down, you can see the screen perfectly in every light. Even from the viewing angle on your side sitting in the passenger seat, there's no issue seeing the screen either. So we have essentially four uh, sections of the virtual cockpit and you have two view modes. This is our classic mode on the computer uh, view. This is pretty much what you'd see in every other car. You scroll down directly from the wheel, everything you do is from the steering wheel so you never take your hands off of it. Mm. Shows your fuel consumption, short-term memory, long-term memory. Then you have these little drawer buttons here. We call them left click and right click. Mm -hmm. If you left click, it brings up a menu. It shows you know what other functional onboard computer. If you push the view button on the steering wheel, it switches you to what we call infotainment mode. Shrinks the gauges, brings up in the center, taking up most of your screen. And here you also see you have an oil temperature gauge and a photo of the car. If you go over one more, you tab over to the right, this is your Sirius XM. We also have two USB inputs for your iPhone, your Android, and those will play also through here. It'll bring up your cover art and you just scroll through it uh, normally. You have 10 gigs of flash memory. You copy down music from um, a flash drive uh, to the flash memory on the car. Okay. You can stream over Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mm -hmm. et cetera, all this. If you're switching here to phone, we don't have a phone connected, but in the Bluetooth here is where you'd have, you'd answer all of your calls, mm -hmm. uh, you search for your contacts, et cetera. On the Roadster, you still have great sound quality with the voice control because in the seatbelt, if you look at it, you'll have three microphones built into the seatbelt. So you drive with the top down, you can have a conversation, people can still hear you. And then one of the biggest ones, obviously, is the navigation on the virtual cockpit. This is bar none the benchmark in the industry. So we have Google Maps, or Google Earth View right here. Mm -hmm. And you see how smooth it is when you scroll in and out. Um, you can also bring up Street View. If you zoom all the way in, and you click to search, mm -hmm. and then we will bring up Street View by searching here. So I will move the trackpad around. We can see here if I scroll all the way in. Yeah, we'll so I'm seeing that you can get turn-by-turn -turn navigation with what the actual buildings look right, like around yeah. you. So you know Absolutely. if you're going to the right place. You know exactly, because you have the Google Earth overlay on your map, so you yeah. know what you're looking at. And it's not just the clarity, it's the processing power behind it from the NVIDIA chips. Can you tell me a little bit more about the chipset? Yes, these are NVIDIA Tegra 30 processors. There's one for the virtual cockpit. And if you get the navigation in the uh, console here in the glove box, you have another NVIDIA Tegra 30, which is powering the navigation. And so you have these two chips that are working together that are overlaid on top of each other in the cluster, and they seamlessly work together. If we're here looking at the map, which is where we are right now, and I right click over, I go to destination input, you can either scroll, uh, you can search from here, entering in one at a time, or you can use the handwriting recognition, and you see, so we'd search for Starbucks. So if I enter in Starbucks, mm -hmm. you don't have to do, you know, house number, street, city, you just enter in one thing, but then I can search which Starbucks do I want to go to. I click, it's gonna take me to Starbucks, it'll give me three routes, and then I can just choose which one I want. And it clearly overlays here exactly how you're going to go. And also you can search uh, via voice control, say, it can say, take me to the next Starbucks. And it knows naturally from natural voice recognition that you want to go to Starbucks. You don't have to say, you know, you don't have to use a structured set of commands. You talk naturally to this car and it'll know what you want to do. Okay, that's pretty cool. There you go. Cool. How much does a car like this cost? So the TT starts at $42,900. And that's including the virtual cockpit, auto climbing control, leather Alcantara seats, keel entry, heated seats. It's relatively fully equipped. And then you can add on your tech package with navigation. Cool. Yeah, cool. thanks for walking me through the car. You're very welcome.